All right, so I'm here in the North Georgia mountains, as you may be able to see. Um, I haven't quite gone in the woods yet, but we're out camping this... Uh, well, actually, I shouldn't even say camping, uh, because I'm at one of the campsites in the, uh, you know, Georgia State Parks. Uh, but one of the things they actually have here that's really nice is you can rent a yurt. So that's what I've done for the past, uh, for the next two days, I think. Uh, usually these things go for around the price of a hotel. I mean like a hundred bucks a night, but uh, there's a Memorial Weekend uh, or week special, so we took advantage of that. Um, so anyway, you know, got all your high-tech stuff, got a spigot for water, gonna light a fire. It rained recently here, so you know, uh, you know, some of this wood is pretty crappy. I was sort of hacking some up, but uh, Sarah went to get some uh, dry firewood. You gotta buy it at the visitor center or whatever, but uh, you know, there's nothing wrong with taking the lazy route on your vacation. Anyway, let me show you what the yurt looks like. These aren't necessarily that common in uh, different parks, but uh, a bunch of Georgia parks have them. They're just really nice. Uh, they can go anywhere from, depending on the park, from 60 to 100 bucks a night. Um, so they got windows you can take off. Um, you got doors. They're locked with like a particular passcode um, that you put in, not a key. And inside, it's actually pretty nice. It's like really high quality. Uh, everything's uh, very nice wood. Um, got two futons. Uh, this is a futon. Got a bunk bed. Uh, they do have a heater over here. They do have elect a couple electrical outlets here and there, so that's nice to have. Uh, I don't have my computer or anything because, you know, it sort of defeats the purpose of coming on vacation. Even got a ceiling light. In fact, these things, um, they get pretty warm when we first came in. Uh, the fan wasn't on and the windows weren't open. Notice you can, you might not be able to see it, but there's uh, this plastic stuff you can take off the window so it's sort of open. Uh, so that's that. And then these yurts are actually in a kind of village. So I think there are around 10 of them in Cloud Canyon. That's where we are. Uh, and you know, there's a road that goes around to connect, that connects all of them. And then there's actually like some kind of like, I guess, I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, there's some kind of like kid play place over there. Um, but, you know, just in case. So, there's a trail, if you actually go out back. Uh, <clears throat> so we haven't actually stayed at night, we're still moving stuff in from the car. Because Sarah brought a lot of stuff, but whatever. <clears throat> um, so if you look out back, there's actually one of the trails that you can go on in Cloud Canyon. You probably can't see it. Um, but yeah, I think it loops around, so we're probably going to take it either tonight or tomorrow. It's, uh, let's see what time it is. Oh, it's not even five yet, but it's getting a little dark. It's just cloudy. Um, you know, it was supposed to be, you know, a little... Eh, there's supposed to be rain over these couple days, but, you know, living in Arizona so long, every time it rains, you just, you just learn to savor it. You just learn to enjoy it. Um, so anyway, that's the basics. I'll update later, just because why not? So this is uh, Daniel Creek, I think, um, and the overlook is right nearby here. I'm not quite sure how far, but yeah, this, did you? Well, I have this, so, you want me to take some pictures for you? Yeah. All right, hold on. Trying to look on the map. What is this? So I think that's Cherokee Falls. I'm not quite sure. And there should be another one further down. What is that? Let's see. Hemlock Falls. But hopefully we'll get a better view. Mm -hmm. It's sort of hard to see, but there's, I guess, the Hemlock Falls. But I think there's a lookout further on. The, this is the Cherokee Falls we'll lookout. Mm. 
And that's where we came from. Actually, we came from the other side of the river, but it's been a while. The trail's a lot longer than I thought it was. I thought it was going to be pretty short, but it's actually relatively rigorous considering all the ups and downs you got to go through. But here's Cherokee Falls. I don't know if you can see it that much. way down to Hemlock Falls is the viewpoint. And there's some other people on the trail today. I don't know if you can see, but there's some girl down there. Let's stalk her briefly. Yep. So, we'll be down there in a couple minutes. Alright, so we've come longer than I thought it was going to be. So, Sitton's Gulch is out that way. I think it's around two miles to the trailhead past that bridge. We're not going to go there. We're going to go to Hemlock Falls uh, and check this out. So. And then of course main trailhead, that's where we came from. All the way up there and a bunch of other curves. And it's really muddy today, as one would expect. Hemlock Falls. A couple guys down there. I wonder how they got down there actually, I guess. Uh, you see how they got down there? Oh well. Maybe I'll figure it out. Da 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 da. It's the one and only Digo Double G. No call. No call. Da 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 da. You know what happened with the D R E. Didn't look so bad coming down, but uh, now is when the fun begins. <sighs> All right, I got it. All right, so it's about one o'clock on day two. Uh, we just finished sort of a hike. Here's a the map of the whole camp, but we started at the yurts right here, and we walked, you know, up this bridge 
to both of the falls up to this bridge. And it's only like maybe two or three miles trail time. Uh, it's a little winding, but it ends up, I thought this was going to be an easy hike considering how small it was. Um, but it's actually, I should have looked at the guide, it was one of the more strenuous hikes. Um, so now we're, I think, right here. We sort of went out, and we were too lazy to come back, so we just came here and to get some more water and stuff like that. Uh, so now I'm sort of waiting on Sarah, Then we're going to walk back. Um, so, All right, here's the main trailhead. That's where all the normies get off to hike in their cars, but we're too cool for that, aren't we? Isn't that right? Anyway, yeah, oops, right. I zoomed in. Uh, let me... What the hell am I zoomed? There we go. All right, so there's some kind of waterfall. Zoom back in. A no-name waterfall. Yep. And here's the actual canyon, I suppose. And we were down there, way down there, all the way down there. And it hurt. It hurt. It did hurt. <laughs> eh, it wasn't that bad. He's lying. It was painful. No, it was great. Uh, I'm feeling great. Feeling pretty high energy right now. Let's see, let's see this rock formation over here. Because why not? Mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, are you sure? Yeah. You ready for it? No. Okay, well, let's do it anyway. So, two of these over there. Yep, that's right. Looks so different. Oh, yeah, so different. I don't know what's different in Tennessee. The, gra the grass is blue or something. Have you been taking pictures too? Uh, yeah, some. Yeah, it won't be that bad. Yeah. Well, we can cut through here anyway. You know, that'll save us some time. The trail wasn't really that long up to no, I was part we split. Yeah, no, no, no. That's what I mean. Even that, it wasn't that long. You know. And of course, half of it's going to be descending, even though half of it's going to be climbing. But whatever. Got actual rails here, that's sort of strange. Oh, this thing can't zoom worth crap. Oh well. Alright, back at the yurt. Uh, Sarah's actually taking a shower, so I'm just sort of playing around here. Got a fire started again. We actually had one earlier. We made some burgers. Uh, now I'm letting some water boil. It's really for Sarah, for her tea or something like that. I don't know. I just like boiling water. Uh, actually, I think I'm going to throw... This is what we cooked last night. We had to cook it on the um, propane grill, because um, ends up, uh, you know, everything was too wet to get a good good enough fire started so thankfully Sarah's dad hooked it up hooked us up with some propane and propane accessories uh, so I'm actually gonna heat this back up it's basically broth uh, and then we're gonna throw a bunch of stuff in there uh, I don't know if you'd call it broth but it's some kind of base um, but anyway so this is burning pretty nicely it's, it took us a while actually to get this thing started but um, yeah it looks all right now <laughs> 